everybody. This is Miss Madeline coming to you today from the Creston School Garden. And today we get to explore the world beneath our feet and take a look at soil and worms. Our first question is, what even is soil? And is soil alive? If it is, who lives in the soil? Soil is where our plants live. It's where the roots go to find water and nutrients to grow plants. And soil can be a habitat, a place for animals to live. Do you think that soil is alive? It may not look alive to you, but even in this little handful of soil, there are thousands and thousands of teeny tiny creatures we can't even see. And there are a lot of creatures in the soil that we can see. Here are some of the things you might find in garden soil. As you can see, a lot of these are things that are alive, like a spider, a worm, even a mushroom is alive. But there are also things in the soil that aren't alive, like rocks and sand. But to be healthy, garden soil needs to have a lot of living things inside of it. Have you ever seen a soil creature? Maybe while you're digging around in your backyard or maybe even at school. You may have seen worms crawling around. You may have seen a centipede. A pile like this is a really good place to look for soil creatures. So let's take a closer look. I just found this really cool centipede here in this pile of soil. It's all curled up now because it's a little nervous and probably a little cold too. But this is one of the creatures that lives in our soil that helps keep it healthy. Centipedes like to eat the soil and poop it out, and that actually makes our soil really nice and rich and healthy. There's also a lot of mushrooms growing in here. And mushrooms, um, plus this cool white stuff, which is part of the fungus, they're also really good to have in the soil. And all that white stuff on there is actually alive. One of our favorite soil creatures to have in a garden is a worm. I'm sure you've all seen a worm before. This is an earthworm. How do worms help the garden? What do you think? They look kind of like they're just flopping around all the time, but they're really doing a lot of work for our soil by eating and pooping. That's what they do, they eat and poop, and when they poop out, they really poop out fresh, beautiful soil. It's not gross, it's soil. Just found a really nice big worm over here. Some fun facts about worms are that they have no teeth or eyes, but they can sense light through their heads. They don't need eyes for that. Worms have slimy skin that they keep moist in the soil so that they can breathe through their skin. Imagine that, breathing through your skin instead of your mouth. How cool is that? Worms dig tunnels through the soil and that helps make room for plants' roots to grow and it helps break up the soil into crumblier pieces. That makes it really nice for the plants. Worms also have five hearts and their body is made up of all these little rings. We call them body segments. I like to look at them through my magnifying lens to see those rings close up. If you ever want to try holding a worm, remember to be very, very gentle because they are very fragile creatures. So I like to keep one hand near the top of my worm so that I give it a little shade. They like to be in the dark underneath the soil and they can tell when they're out in the light up above the soil. So to keep them nice and calm and safe, I can make a little house with my hands for my little worm friend. Thank you, worm. You're doing such a great job for the garden. How can we help worms? 
we can help worms by being very gentle and safe when we're around them. That means we would never try to hurt a worm because we know they're so important for the garden. And we want to make sure they have a place to live where they are warm and they have plenty of food. And that's how we can help the worms. Now it's your turn to check out the soil around where you live to see if it has some of these things in it. This is our soil bingo. And you can print one of these out and go check out and see if you have soil creatures in your backyard or in a park nearby your house or anywhere you can find soil. As I've been exploring in the Creston garden, I've already found some of these things like the mushroom that I'm gonna mark off with a, a bark chip. I found worms and I found a centipede. Let's see if I can find a few more things. There are some seeds in this soil that I have recently planted, but they're still on the surface. So like this one. So I found a seed. I can mark that off my bingo. And here I can see some plants roots that were living in this soil. All right, I found a couple of these soil bingo items. I wonder how many you can find out there in the soil. We also have a fun indoor worm activity you can try out. Before you go out and do a worm or soil activity on your own, let's warm our bodies up and think like a worm. Now worms move by scrunching up their bodies and then stretching back out. So you can do that too by standing up scrunching down and stretching your body out. If you want to add a little wiggle when you stretch, you can be even more like a worm. Wiggle, 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 scrunch, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now you try. Here's an indoor worm related activity you can do with just a few items from around the house. All you need is some tissue paper and either a straw or a chopstick. And with these items, we are going to make a tissue paper worm that wiggles around. For this next part, you'll be using your straw to grab a couple of drops of water from a water glass. And all you need to do is stick your straw in the glass of water, put your thumb on top, lift it up, and when you take your thumb away, some water will drip down. We're going to drip this water onto our worm to see if we can make it move. Here we go. I'm dripping my water on my worm. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh my goodness! It's moving! Look at that! It's moving around and expanding just like a worm does. Whoa! Well, that was cool. Our worm moved because it was scrunched up and then stretched out just like a real worm moves around. Whether you're digging up worms outside or making a tissue paper worm at home, I hope you have fun learning about our friends, the worms.